Hey guys, we're back again. Uh, so, everybody's, uh, you know, talking about this. They say it's a new thing, but it's not. We're going to be talking about Fatwood today. What is Fatwood? Well, I've been getting a lot of comments lately on well, where does Fatwood come from my Fatwood video. Fatwood is a natural fire starter that comes from dead pine trees. I will make a video here pretty soon on where to find fatwood. But first I'm making a video talking about fatwood and using fatwood. Now, you can go out right now, but it's too it's too dang hot out here. But you can go out right now and go out and find your stump. The way that you test it is is it's simply If you smell it and it smells just like turpentine or it smells like a really really rich pine smell and it's it's filled with resin it's like that it's packed full of resin it's a natural fire starter I'll be showing you how easy it can be lit and how easy you can make a fire with it now back to talking about well, where does fat would come from well, it comes from the dead stumps, or the root system, or the tree that fell over, and there's a stick that goes out like that, and inside of it, if you go deep down far enough, that has some, and sometimes you can find them in the actual tree that's fell down. I haven't found one yet, but I've, I've always found them in the stumps. The stumps is my favorite place to go. And sorry if I'm sweating, it's because the sun's down on my eyes, or it's actually reflecting off that camera and hit me in the face. So, sorry about that. Now, I can make a two hour video talk gathering up fat wood, because I've got them all around the Blue Ridge Mountains up here, down in, North, in Virginia. Now, if you, and this is kind of off topic, but if I don't have a Virginia accent, I'm from North Carolina. I was born and raised in North Carolina for many years. Until I was about three and then we moved here. So, let me cut you off and we'll be talking about, or we'll be actually lightening a piece of fat wood on. So, stay tuned. Okay, so now what you do is you find you a good piece of fat wood like that. I make mine about five to six inches and about an inch thick. So you can make them however size you want to. So you get your knife out, and if I can get you down here, we'll be in business. I don't think you can see this, but okay. So I think you can see this. Yeah. So what you do is is you simply make kind of a, like a uh, feather stick. It's optional, but I like to do it. And you keep on doing that. This is just a demonstration, you don't have to be perfect. And simply, if I can get this with my lighter, and see how that just lights up like that? See that? It just lights up, well, the wind blew it out. I can get this to light. Well, this wind keeps on blowing it out.
Oil? Shoot. Water is fluid. But you get the idea. It's better than using this piece of stick right here. But watch this. Okay, I've kept it on there for a while and it's just being black. So, I mean, you get the guess, but, or you could do this. You could get you some fine shaving off this. And well, pretend I got a fair rod on here. Just pretend for a minute because I ain't got it with me. But you could take this and pretend this is your fair rod. And see how that just lights up like nothing? That ain't regular wood, that's resin filled. Well, Appreciate your time, and that's another video from Hunter's House 345 channel. It's called Backwoods Survival. The reason why I named it Backwoods Survival is is because we're in the backwoods and we're surviving. Alright, catch you guys later.